And welcome back to Career Build Series. This is going to be episode 29, and so we're starting where we left off last time. So last time we went and did a quick rescue mission, put out a fire on a, looked like a trawler. Uh, rescued three people, brought them down to the arid biome. We're at the beginner base in the arid biome. Just got back from the hospital, dropping those people off. So that was a good mission. That was a little less than 9,000, one of the people that were injured. So we lost a little bit of cash on that one. Uh, so I think what we need to do is let's check our fuel uh, probably need to go refuel the tugboat, so let's go take a look. Alright, so a lot of uh, real... or let's not, let's not put it that way. There are some r real tugboats that actually use dipsticks to check the fuel, so I haven't put any actual fuel gauges in, so I'm kind of doing it this way where I have to come down here to kind of simulate the dipsticks. And So you actually have to stick a stick in a port, and then you measure in the stick how much, uh, you know, where the where the liquid is showing, and that tells you how much fuel you have in the tanks. So I don't know how common that is, but I've seen that in some uh, tugboat YouTube videos, and so I was kind of doing something like that myself. So Harbor Gen can come off. Let's go ahead and back out slowly here. I have, I'm just going to do the port as a pod in reverse. That will help me go slow. At some point I'm going to re-gear this. It's, it goes, see, oh, I'm stuck. There we go. At some point I'm going to re-gear this. It goes a little bit it's too jumpy and too fast for me. The RPS range is very small. It's like it idles at around uh, 2.6 and max is only 5, so it has a very narrow band. And so that, um, you know, can cause some, uh, some slow issues. So what I think we're going to do here is we're going to start with a fuel run. We're actually, we're actually not doing too bad. I may or may not. So the thought was to go up here. I still have 1,300 liters per side. I start with, I think, what do I start? I can't remember how much I get in there. I think it's like three, three, six hundred a side, something close to that. So we burned about half our fuel, and this has stayed out for a while. Uh, so I, we're, we're pretty economical, so we don't need to. So I think what I'm going to do here is we'll actually uh, go ahead and we'll stop here, drop the anchor, and we'll see where we're at as far as getting a mission. So I'm going to let that anchor go down. It probably won't ever let it set, but I'm going to go ahead and sleep and see if we can't grab a mission. Alright. Uh, picnic Boat Servicing Ocean. Okay, so this will be a good one. So let's see where that is. Okay, so nice. That's actually really close. Let's go get that one in. I wonder if they changed something where Often, if you'd added the creative menu in, it would uh, put missions further away. But now we're getting them nice and close. So, you know, I, I kind of like a wide variety of have some close, have some far away, let you pick. One thing I think that the game would benefit from is a little bit more customize. The ability for you to customize a little bit better. Um, like one, you know, we'll talk about this for Stormworks 2, which is not called Stormworks 2. The next game. I think one thing that would be kind of cool is you can put yourself on duty for certain activities. And so, for example, if let's say there are 10 mission types, you know, you have tows, you have rescues, you have, you know, whatever they might be. And so you can actually put yourself on duty for them and say, okay, I'm only accepting tow missions. So let's say you really want to play with your tugboat. And you say, okay, well, I'm only accepting tow missions. And so that way it would only give you tow missions. And so I think that would be kind of a cool way to do it. It cuts down, you know, you having to decide, okay, well, I'm just going to kind of let this mission go by the wayside. And it only gives you what you want. And so I think that's kind of a cool way to do it. Because, for example, you might you might only ever be interested in doing one type of thing. And so you can kind of configure it to only give you that type of thing at that time. So, for example... Let's say I'm in a real big forest fire mood, and I say, okay, I only want fires, you know, or forest fires. Let's call it forest fires. And so you only put that on. Well, the only missions that it will give you is forest fire missions. And it allows you to RP a little bit better. You know, you really want to play with your water bomber. It allows you to do that. Or, you know, like, talk about, like, SRS does a ton of firefighting stuff. They could pretty much set, set their missions only to firefighting. And you get exactly the kind of missions you want instead of, Having to sleep, and then you're like, nope, that's not the mission I want. Nope, nope. And then you keep going through, and then uh, one of the lag issues I was having before is, you know, having all those uh, dead missions up that I was not going to do was uh, causing a lot of lag. So that would help uh, alleviate some of that, too. 
So let's see where, uh, how far we are. All right, so we're about three minutes. So uh, we'll do a little uh, time lapse aroni here, and uh, we'll uh, should be getting there pretty quick. There's a nice, quick little uh, tomish. interesting uh, thing that was pretty funny I didn't uh, I just literally sat back down and <laughs> we almost crashed into it all right perfect all right so this is actually pretty good let's see if I can't get a, the old screenshots out of this this is kind of interesting I like this one all right so let's go ahead and uh, he's blinding the hell out of me here let's uh, disconnect our autopilot we need to do that in order to uh, make this work all right, so ooh, you are blinding me, dude. I'm just going to gently tap back port. I'm going to go in third person again. This is another reason for creative menu is, you know, it lets you get some perspective a little bit. I actually like the screenshot from that side a little bit better. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, sometimes it gives you a little bit better perspective and it makes it a little bit easier to operate. All right. Let's see. Am I close enough to grab? I am. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and. Oh no! I'm trying to stay dry. It's kind of my new RP thing. Is is uh, try to stay dry, you know. All right. So we need to bring this. Let's see if there's actually any servicing. Sometimes it will tell you there is. Sometimes it won't. Servicing, so just transpo. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's grab that. All right, so let's let out a little. Uh, so first thing I want to do is let's set a waypoint here. So we're taking it into the nuke docks here, which is interesting. I don't think I've ever actually been here in a boat. So let's enter that in. All right, let's start going forward here. All right, and we will let out some little bit of line here that's about that's probably good there all right let's go ahead and so you see how we're doing that extreme kind of extreme turn it didn't show you very well but that's another reason so I talked before about where you're supposed to put your winch and you don't want your winch right by your let's say rudders for general turning mechanism in this case, of course, we have azipods, but you notice how the azipods are way back there and the winch is further forward. And what that allows it to do is if you were towing right from the stern, let's say we just hooked it to that stern cleat, it would be it would be fighting, especially with rudders. The azipod is not too bad because we can directionally change our thrust, but if we had rudders, the weight, the mass, the resistance of this boat would be fighting us with our ability to turn. And the mass of the tugboat's actually what's pulling the, in this case, this picnic boat. And so we need the ability to be able to turn our rudders, let's just say rudders. And so you want to put that winch around the center of gravity, and that allows us to easily rotate around because you're not fighting the actual mass of what you're towing. Now, this boat's pretty small, but let's say we're pulling I, I pulled a barge with this tugboat of 200,000 liters and so it would make it incredibly difficult if it was a if we had rudders to be able to turn the stern if we had that hooked up to the stern because we're you know the thrust of the engines are trying to just uh, directionally be moved with a rudder and then pull that huge mass so by putting the actual attachment point in the center or towards the center, it allows us to easily rotate around Then the actual momentum of the tugboat's what's pulling it, which is more efficient. So hope that makes sense. So uh, we'll go ahead and I'll see you when we get there.
Alright, so here we are at the nuke dock. The old nuke dock here. Let's see if we can get a pick here, too. I like to kind of document where we're at here. It's kind of nice. Alright, so nuke dock. That was AFK, so I don't know if we actually got the money. I'm going to just drag us a little bit closer. I think we got it, but I wasn't really paying attention. So that was a nice, quick, little easy mission here. Uh, actually, it disappeared, so we, we I know it's done. So that's complete. Let's go ahead and yank this sucker in a little bit. All right, that's good enough, I think. I think I can actually undo this. Yeah, I can undo this. We'll RP it. We'll lose a little RP here and just grab it, but it's not a big deal. All right, nice. So there was a quick little mission. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get another one. So a nice quick little mission here. This is neat. I haven't been in here at all yet. But a lot of, you know, it has the breakwaters for uh, probably tsunami. Tsunami protection. Like at um, Fukushima. We'll head out here a little bit and we'll drop anchor. And we'll try to grab a new mission. So it's nice to get some missions done. Um, you know, these are pretty close. They're not a ton of money, but, you know, when they're close and they're easy like that, it's it's pretty simple to do. It's not bad. Looking forward to this oil update. This uh, this will be something nice and new, and it will, I think, breed a lot of different vehicles that need to be built and some new strategies. And So I think a uh, very positive step, I think, that... You know, a lot of people who think that you know, there, there needs to be a balance between expansion of what the game's doing and bug fixes. And some people want you to focus just on bug fixes. I think that's an easy way to kill a game is you need new things for people to do. You need, especially in a building game, you need new points of interest. Especially, you know, people run out of inspiration of what to build. And so I think they're striking a reasonable balance of saying, hey, these are new features and these are things we need to... Um, yeah, you know, actually, I, I don't think, I think, oops, I'm trying to remember what the, it's got to be 10, yeah, no, that, that'll fit, I think this is 20 meters, no, it's not going to go down, I was going to say, we're, we're in too deep of water, 82 feet, this I think is only 20 meters, this um, winch, so we're never going to be able to touch bottom, but, uh, so kind of like what I was saying is, you know, you need to strike a balance where you have some new parts and you also do bug fixes. You know, for example, they could make multiplayer work 100%, and I think, you know, for a lot of us it would be like you'd still be wanting for parts. And so I think it's a good, they strike a good balance, adding parts to that interest different parts of the community and also doing a good balance between fixes and that. Uh, Raptor Lighthouse, fire. Okay. All right, let's, uh, let's look at this one. This one should be pretty easy, I think, because the uh, the hospital is pretty close to Raptor. Getting a little bit of weather, too, which is nice. All right, let's look at our map. So Raptor's back over here. As you see, nice close missions here. Let's set a waypoint here. Actually, I think we're around the horn already, so we should be able to come right up here at least. All right, good. So let's stick that in. So engines are coming off. Harbor Gen's coming Engine's coming on. Harbor Gen's coming off. All right. And so we'll go ahead and we'll head to Raptor here. Put out that fire, and then it's actually a pretty short walk from Raptor to here. So we, we'll just walk the people off and get them over to the hospital. And I think that's uh, where we'll end up. But, um, but yeah, so uh, some nice, nice get back submissions. I'm enjoying it, you know. A lot of this has been tugboat content, which I enjoy, of course. But... Um, you know, break, we'll start breaking it up a little bit more when we get some actual missions that call for the seaplane. Um, I would like to retool this tugboat a little bit like I was talking about. Change the drives a little bit. I want them to be geared down a little bit so that we go a little less fast, but we pull better. As that is the point of a tugboat is for uh, to be able to pull and push uh, well and be able to operate heavy loads. And so that's something I want to get this retooled for. And, um, you know, I like to make a little rescue boat at some point that might take over for some of those. Like, this is still pretty good for some, these short-term, these short-distance rescues, but we go into longer distances, we're going to want something else. So, I'll see you guys when we get there.
I like this little uh, bit of added sea state here. A little bit more weather. A little bit more interesting. Get a little bit monotonous when it's um, flat seas, so I like this. Let's go ahead and we will pick off the AP and I'll steer us in. This is where heading hole comes in nicely, is um, especially following C, it kind of pushes you funny, so it's kind of nice to have that on. So what are we talking here? 243 maybe. Uh, 243. All right, that's off, and then that should turn the heading hold on. And let the heading hold hold us. There's beginner base over there. We have Raptor here. Uh, sheer cliffs, it looks like, so we should probably be able to maybe theoretically walk up here. Let's grab the binoculars. I can't tell how sheer this cliff is. I'm hoping we can kind of traverse up there and get to it. That would be nice. I'm really going to try to make an effort in this series. I don't know if I'll be able to stick to it 100%, but make all vehicles in the series. You know, last uh, career build series, I ended up taking in some vehicles that I had worked on before and part of it was you know a lot of my gameplays ends up being in the career build series and I like to visit some old builds you know I'm trying to stick to single or one or two purpose vehicles instead of jack of all trades and you know hopefully I can get um, you know they're building pretty fast you know I get I'm pretty fast at building now you know detailing and finishing tends to be a long process but that can be done at, as we play you know, it's the um, as long as we initially can get things working for us, that's we're in good shape there. So you know, uh, one point I'd like to you know I have the mud skipper, which was for uh, big man's challenge for an amphibious uh, vehicle, and so I'd like to make an, another amphibious little vehicle so that we can take it a little bit across the water, you know, and do some missions. So theori theoretically, we could. You know, go to big inner base, launch something like the Mud Skipper, and then, uh, you know, use that to drive up here. This cliff is pretty sheer. I'm hoping I can get up over here. So let's go ahead and... We are going to have to get wet. I, d I did build a kayak, but, um, you know, it would be nice. So this is, ooh, this is iffy to be able to um, anchor here. Because my depth... I think if I if memory serves that winch has a essentially 60 foot length because it's in meters of course but I'm converting feet yeah you see that's gonna be iffy I think to even be able to reach the bottom we'll uh, we'll see I'm gonna you know what I'm actually gonna do I'll make an executive decision not to because the issue I'm gonna have is if it's not by much it's going to drag the ship underwater so. I want the Fire X. Let's see, are you on? That's on. We have anchor light on. All right, let's go ahead and I'm going to go for a swimmy. All right, and let's head out there and try to get this mission done. I think we'll call it after that. But nice to get a couple missions in. This puts our money in. You know, I was talking about how it's nice to have some different goals. You know, have some short-term, medium-term, long-term goals. That really keeps you focused. That allows you to kind of make your own narrative, your own stories, and to stay interested. You know, the people who are consistently bored and need more narrative, you know, try, you know, give it a try. Give, you know, come up with some different scenarios for yourself. Come up with some different goals. You know, if you have some goals of, I really want to build a land base, you know, that helps, you know, because I really want to build a land base, and so I need a hundred grand to be able to buy the island. I need probably another hundred grand to outfit the island how I want. So you talk, that's two hundred grand. You like that gives you okay. Well, I need to go do some stuff to make it. You know, it's like in real life. You know, you want to go buy a house. Well, you know what? You need to go work for it. You say, okay, well, I'll work this holiday because I make extra money, and you know, then I can have my house. You know, and then you know, these same sort of things are are helpful. So. I think a lot of it is up to, wow, that is kind of a walk to get them off to the uh, hospital, but should be able to do it, no problemo. All right, there's the fire. 
That's a kind of a hike to get them over there. It's, it's over there. Wow, that is a little bit of a walk. I think what we'll do is we'll end it after this, and then I'll probably just walk them off myself because I don't um, I don't have any vehicles. Any you know, this would be good for Mudskipper if I stopped at Beginner Base, bring that in. But again, I didn't build it here, so I want to kind of do everything I built. Howdy there, people. You just watching? Is that a loot crate? I don't know if it was on fire. Or wow. How the hell am I getting in here? I think there's two doors. Hello? Probably a real firefighter would break out the window and go through the window. I don't know. I think there's another door on this side. That's pretty nasty there, right at the door to be able to get in. Alright, let's open up these doors and see where we actually have the fire sprites. There's one right there. The wind is really blowing this fire pretty, pretty strong. Okay, that's starting to go out. All right, good. That one's out. I did have firefighting gear. I should put on to protect myself. See, I'm getting hurt here. That would have. Oh, come on, see. I don't want to get killed here. Trying to do my good works. Can imagine a real fire like this would be sweltering hot. Deadly hot. Deadly hot. Okay. Is that it? Where the hell's the last bit of fire? Outside, I think. Right there. Yay, fire's out. Okay, that's good. So, I have a lot of people here to rescue. Let's see what we're looking at. Five. All right, so this is good money-wise. I think we'll finish this actually next episode. I have to walk all these people off, so I'll walk them off. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.